Hey, my name is Katherine Swift, and today I'm going to show you how to mix epoxy resin for your art, jewelry, and crafting projects. Start by gathering a couple of graduated mixing cups. These are essential for making sure you get accurate measurements on your resin and hardener. Next, you want to make sure and measure your resin and hardener in separate cups according to the kit instructions. What you can't see here is that I'm kneeling down so that I'm looking at the cups at eye level. Yes, you need to get as precise a measurement as possible. Once you have the volumes you need, mix the two parts together. You will notice it looks a little wavy in the beginning, but it will clear up as you continue mixing. On average, you will need about two to three minutes for your resin mix to go clear. Be sure to scrape the sides of your cup and mixing stick several times during the process. Once your resin is thoroughly mixed, cast it as desired. Making the mess is optional. If you're mixing resin for artwork or large projects, the same principles apply, but you likely won't be able to mix that large a volume of resin without introducing bubbles. You still want to mix deliberately and thoroughly scraping the sides of your cup and stirring utensil several times during the process. Sometimes I will pour half my mixed resin into another cup and stir the two halves separately to make sure I get it mixed as completely as possible. Oh, and I forgot to mention, anytime you are working with epoxy resin, be sure to wear protective gloves and work in a well-ventilated area. You wanna keep yourself healthy. So while our resin is mixed, there are a lot of bubbles to deal with. Since I'm using this mix for a resin art project, the resin will be poured in a depth of an eighth of an inch. So removing the bubbles with a heat gun won't be as difficult as if I tried casting this resin, which I wouldn't recommend. It would be about impossible to get all these bubbles out before it starts to cure in a mold. Looking for more resin supplies in addition to advice, be sure to come on over to ResinObsession.com.